Welcome to Nova Videos. In this video, I'm going to explain you the build text command, which is a very useful command which can be used to generate a string using a user-defined format. The user can add free parameters in the string, which in turn can be linked to command parameters in the procedure. In this example, the export to ASCII command. Welcome to the Nova software. In this video, the initial procedure will be modified in order to export every single cyclical thermogram to a unique ASCII file. The name of the ASCII file will be automatically generated during the measurement, for example, with the tool build text command. The export to ASCII data command can be added to any NOVA procedure to export the data to an ASCII file. This provides a convenient way to automatically prepare the measurement data points for data analysis in another application. The use for the export ASCII data command has been illustrated in the previous video about the data export tool. In this video, the use of another command, build text, will be detailed in combination with the export to ASCII command. The build text command is a very useful command which can be used to generate a string using a user-defined format. The user can add free parameters in string which in turn can be linked to a command parameters in the procedure. In this example, the export to ASCII command. This procedure performs a total of four cyclic photograms uh, on an Outlook dummy cell. The repeat for multiple values command is used to change the upper vertex potential and the scan rate for each consecutive scan. When I go to library, I can set my default procedure, let's say cyclic photometry potential static, and I can add a repeat loop like this. In the repeat loop, I put my CV staircase. In the repeat loop, I can set the function to repeat of multiple values, and where I can select the parameters. So I can change the upper vertex potential in here, upper vertex, enter, and I can add an extra column, value column, and I can change this into scan rate. So I can make a list of different vertexes and different scan rates. For example, my first upper vertex is 1. And the second one is 2 volts. I can give it the same scan rate, let's say 0.5 volt per second, and also the same 0.5 volt per second. The next upper vertex range, 1 and 2, I can change to a different scan rate, let's say 1 volt per second. So here I've created multiple uh, repeat loops with different values of the upper vertex and the scan rate. I can link these values to my CV staircase, press hold the control key, and both commands will be green uh, unlined, and you'll see you could create a link to the upper vertex and the upper vertex of the CV and the scan rate of the scan rate of the CV. This is how I link it. I'm going to change the parameters of the options because it gives me a warning that the 100 nanoamp is not fast enough. Now the warning is gone. What I can do now is to, um, if you want to export each individual repeats to an ASCII file, I can give it a specific name. This specific name can be built by the build text command. Well, the build text command is in the control group. I can drag and drop it in here. The only thing I have to do, I have to give it a format. Well, I'm going to store it under C data file. And now I'm going to uh, give it a name. And this name is very important because we have to define CV, upper vertex, vertex. And then I have to select a string. And a string it starts with zero. Zero. And scan rate again with the string 
because I'm going to uh, repeat with different upper vertex potentials and scan rates. And the last string I will call one. So now I've defined the name of the files in my data uh, port. And what I can do now, I can link these values of the CV staircase to the build text command. Again, selecting both command icons. And uh, on the zero string, I will have the upper vertex. And on the one string, I will have my scan rate. So here I've defined my build text. With this build text, I can link to the export to ASCII file. Export to ASCII data is in the data handling group. We can drag it after the, come on, yep, like this. And what I have to do, the only thing I have to do, I have to select the columns which I'm interested in. Well, uh, columns, let's say, the columns I take from the CV staircase. And again, I select both icons. In the first column, I want to see the potential applied, for example. And on the second column, I'm only interested in the current measured. The name uh, of the export data, the file name, is generated by the build text command. So what I'm going to do, I only have to link the build text command to the name. So there's an output file of the build text command. It's a text file and I have to link it to the file name. That's all I have to do. So you don't have to fill in any type of file name in the export data command. That's very convenient because now it will give you a warning file not specified, but file not specified is only uh, just a, a warning because the, the file is going to be generated by the build text command. To visualize a, in uh, a different in the time plot, I'm going to modify the plots. I'm not so interested in current in I versus E, I'm interested in I versus T and E versus T. And this is in plot number one. And this is in plot number two. This is blue. And we make this one red. Okay, now my procedure is finished. And I can start running the procedure. At the moment, I have in my uh, C drive, I have a data. And at my, this data folder is empty at the moment. But at the moment I start to the procedure, it will run experiment with um, different upper vertices and different scan rates. And this way we can see and automatically store data with different file names. And that is very nice for bookkeeping and convenient for uh, long-term measurements, for example. So my experiment is finished and you'll see here my potential and uh, my applied potential and the measured current. We can also go to my data folder and here are the individual um, files, ASCII files with the proper upper vertex and the scan rate. So this, the build text command automatically generated this name based on the strings you have provided. Thank you for watching Nova videos. If you found this Nova video helpful, like and share with your colleagues. Please subscribe to the Metrom Autlab YouTube channel so you are notified when new videos are available.